We have Dr. Uh, Yingling Xia uh, from UIC to talk to us. And uh, the title of his talk is uh, Characteristics of Microbiome Data and Challenges of Statistical Analysis. Dr. Xia has a master's degree in medical statistics uh, from the University of Rochester and a PhD in philosophy uh, from St. Yan Fan University in China. And he's the lead author of uh, the book Statistical Analysis uh, of Microbiome Data with R. So he's very knowledgeable about microbiome data analysis. So I hope uh, he can have some time today for to take some questions to for us to do some uh, to get some consultation. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Xia. Uh, you can start. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much, Dr. Little introduction and uh, provided this opportunity to present our uh, data uh, in this Zoom meeting. Uh, today, let me, there are some problem with the screen and let me, okay. Uh, today I will provide uh, some background on magma research and uh, describe the features of migrant data and the uh, challenges of analysis them. And then I review some studies method in analysis of migrant data. Finally, I will show you example or use per MANOA. What is the microbiome? There are a couple of definitions. Some of research defined for the ecological perspective. Some are defined from the host independency, dependency perspective. There are still some else defined the microbiome from the genome or method driven. There are still others defined, use couple of criteria to define. But however, microbiome is our friends. They have in fact our healthy and uh, the development of diseases. We can define the microbiome as a uh, microbiome in text or microbiome and the uh, genes, the whole microbiome community and their activity. The number of bacteria in all the colon is close to the number of human cells. We consider the word microbiome as a newly discovered organs that interaction with other organs and affect our healthy and the development of the diseases. There are a couple of two official definitions for microbiome. The first one is provided by Weepers and the group in 1981-88. They group the work on the ecology of a rife sophy microorganism. They describe the microbiome as a combination of the words of microbiome and the bi biome. So them the characters of microbiome community in the host. The host have distinct properties as the shared activities. So this de definition is defined. The microbiome has distinct properties and also in the act with other facts. The actually the most side definition is given by Landberg and the colleagues in 2001. They describe the microbiome within an ecology context. There are many of method intervention and the important discovery so leading the research from the microorganism to microbiome, I just named a few of them. In 1617, a microscope was invented. The father of the microbiology, Leuven Hook, discovered the microorganism. However, the most of the two importance mice do is in 2005, we have the next generation sequence technology. In 2008, NIH 
launched the human Mark Baron study project. Mark Baron data have a couple of unique characteristics. The unique characteristics pose the very challenge to study the analysis, this kind of data. The two method or approach we can generate the Markman data. One is the 16S RNA approach. One is the shutter guard manager approach. The two approach, they have their own advantage and the limitation. The, the next example, we uh, show some example for 16S RNA sequence data. So we can clarify bacteria as eight hierarchy taxonomy error from the more auxiliary at the at the top to the more specific at the bottom, we can name as uh, them domain, kingdom, freedom, class, order, family, genus, and uh, species. This example is generated for 16S RNA sequences. It's for our study. In this study, we can call this table as the features table or call the OTU table. For the each of the row, each percent of the bacteria, in this study, we have 248 bacteria. In the programming, we call this as a predictor or you know variables. From the column, each percent of samples. In this study, we have eight samples, three for Y type mouse, and five for vitamin D lockout mouse. For each of the cells, is a count data read is generated from the 16 SA sequence technology. Uh, we can say that uh, some of the red, uh, uh, the red count is very large, some of is small, there are a couple of zeros here. So we didn't take the formally uh, test for distribution for the date, but for the, you know, the first uh, look, we have some sense. This data is not normally distributed, the, that means the standard set method maybe cannot apply for this kind of data. So how to do for uh, the data is not normally, we typically uh, apply the some normalization uh, to normalize the data first. There are a couple of normalization methods available. The similar one is just the divided by each of the count within each sample, each count for the bacteria within each sample. So that's after defined, divided the total uh, count at each within the sample, we can sum all of them equals 100 percentage or equal to one. So that means that relatively Marker Brown data set is compositional. So this is another example for the human study. In this study, we use case control, longitudinal study, original Marker Brown within 32 long parents and 22 pregnant women who delivered a child at a term. This bacteria is at the species level. Uh, we can see from here, they have many of zeros for each of bacteria. The minimum percentage of zeros is around 15, and the maximum nice the zeros is 74. The medium column, we can see that they have many of zeros. I'm oh, sorry about that. And also the means for each year cell is very, very small compared to the variance. So there are two messages from this data set. 
the variance are very greater than mean. That indicates that this data set, you know, have over dispersed. So a lot of the information from here, they have many of zeros. So zeros may be accessed the model we assume to use, such as Poisson, like Poisson model, like the polynomial. We will show this uh, data characters later and uh, use some, you know, a suitable model to model this data set. In summary, Markman data is compositional. It just shows that some of the percentages of bacteria in the sample equals 100 or equal one. Markman data are high dimensional. In the example, we have 248 bacteria, but just in eight samples. This could be have some problem we call the large P and the small N problem. Marmar data are over dispersed. The variance are very large, they are mean. Marmar data are sparse with many zeros, such as 44% zeros. In the last data set, we just show that. So for this couple of unique characters of Markov data, to analyze them is a very challenge. What are the challenges? So the composition means the variable are not independent. So for standard uh, test, we typically assume the data is in the Euclid geometry in real space. However, the lot is not independent. That means they are not in the uh, uh, in the real space, not a, a lot of geometry space. Marmar data is not linear and monotonic. Uh, as we know, the Pearson and the Smell-Man correlation study, we typically use test the correlation for two variables. We assume the model, the data is linear or monotonic. But however, the composition of data, so the challenge, you know, this standard method. If we use the uh, scatter plot or Kugu plot to present the composition data, the data, you know, the features, you know, could be distorted. Marmar data is multi, is multivariate, but not multi, normally distributed. So this also assumed the multivariate parameter analysis, such as MANOA. I will talk about it for details later for, for, for how we cannot use the traditional MANOA to analyze the Markman data. So, Magma data also high dimension. So that means we have more number of predictors or variables, but a small sample size. So in our case, we have 248 uh, bacteria. This is, we call this a variable, but just the eight samples. In the equation, you know, for mathematics, we cannot get, you know, get a solution for, for that. So if we use the scatter plot to present this data set, there could be n times n minus one divided two scatter plots we needed. So that in this case, we need to more than 30, you know, thousand uh, scatter plot. So that is, is a lot possible to, 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 to get the plot. Even if we, you know, we can get the scatter plot, that uh, too many of scatter plot is not informative. How to do to, you know, to address the multivariate problem? We typically use distance or called the disability measurement or a summary statics or a sum of special approach uh, to first get the measurement first and then use the, some other uh, a suitable model to all assess that. The model data also 
sparsity. The sparsity mostly is contributed by many of zeros. So that make the tax or OTU count provisions are very more than expected and pose the common multinomial regression, such as the portal model. So, so this is the make parameter model impossible to actually estimate the variance for meaningful inference. Such as we cannot use the normal, uh, normal distribution or most use the binomial Poisson, negative binomial and the beta distribution to analyze this kind of data. Uh, typically, uh, the long parameter is the model is based on the uh, medium. So this model is robust in initiative to the outlier. It is simply the more robust to use a micro data set. But however, you, we can imagine if the data have 74% zeros, that means the medium is still zeros. So that makes the long parity model also invalid or at the part. In the next uh, uh, several slides, I will give you some uh, static method in all of the macro data. Uh, as uh, we know, the as uh, other you know new uh, research field, the beginning we can borrow the method for other uh, field. Typically, we can you know define. The basically Markman research is focused on the three facts: environment, Markman bar, and the host. Based on the research hypothesis and the data set, we can generate three generate hypotheses to test the dynamic among these three facts. Hypothesis one: we can hypothesis the association marker bar with the host, such as we can hypothesis the composition of marker bar is linked to the host health or the developer of the diseases. Hypothesis two, we can hypothesis that environment effect or covariance, such as intervention have some effect on marker bar the hypothesis three, we can directly hypothesis the environment has some effect to the host. But the most of the research are interested the hypothesis environment have some indirectly effect on the host mediated by marker bomb. We just talk about the uh, many of method innovation and the important discovery leading the research on microorganism organism to mark a bomb. But the two important milestones we should uh, uh, be mentioned here. In 2005, DNA sequencing technology advanced to next generation sequencing. So the data set, all the data sets, even if the 16 SA RNA sequencing data set, or the management sequence is, you know, use the next generation sequence technology. In 2008, the human microbiome project was launched by NIH as a conceptional extension to the human genome project. So microbiome research is basically the developer or selected method for microbiome pro, project is relatively low. The developer, the very, uh, the, the various informative or statistics method have been developed and applied the magma study. It's after the human magma project initiated. As in other uh, research field, we, at the beginning, we borrow the method from other field. We can, you know, because all the classic study methods are available. 
So depending on the whether the data are normally or not normally distributed, the number of experiment uh, group or conditions, we can use the t-test, where t-test, LOR, where called the rank sum test, or cross curve Wallis test to test the difference uh, between group on alpha or beta diversity. Uh, I'll give you an example from the really uh, hard topic is anti-program uh, days uh, one immunotherapy. This is for a science paper uh, for 2008. The, in this research, they defined the uh, two group respond and all non-respond within six months. Uh, and then they want to test the alpha diversity uh, difference. For this case, they use the inverse symptom difference. But you can say that uh, the, they use the main uh, water list U test, the class test, test the difference. In another example, I will show we just uh, do um, uh, by myself. We also use the well Cox rank test to test the shallow diversity. Shallow diversity is a uh, very popular uh, diversity in the magma research. Uh, they are most uh, cited uh, diversity in the magma you know, papers. We uh, test the uh, two group, the difference, uh, objective difference, and then use the winding plot to present uh, the result. We also get the p-value here. Uh, so this is a very high quality uh, plot we can directly use, they can directly use at the, the publication. Yeah. However, the Markman data uh, set is uh, have many of zeros and over disciples. So we can more advanced the model such as over disciples and the zero inflation model are more suitable to model directly to the bacteria. To fit the Markbrown count data with over distribution and x zeros, at the beginning, the elective binomial and the zero flat model are often used. Based on, the, based on my knowledge, the most uh, most often used two elective binomial this previously developer from the uh, from the onion sequence data. These these two model is based on negative binomial. They use variance stabilization transformation to trace the old distribution. The model is developed for small sample size. In two thousand fourteen, the Hermans group suggests. These two models can be directly used for a lot of Markov data. Based on uh, this group's uh, suggestion, I use these two packages in my book to, you know, here is, I use to test the, the samples for smoking and non-smoking group, use this mod, aged models. For this output, the column one is ODU number, is the column two is a log for the change. The column third, third column is log count per million. This is the, actually log for the change is defined uh, the effect size. And the another column is p-value. And also the last column is FDR or just the p-value. From here, we can say that they are have many or couple of, you know, uh, second difference. The, for this uh, OTUs. For this our result, we also can present it with a uh, uh, welcome plot. It's very visualizable. Uh, for here, x axis is log two for the change, that is for effect size. The y axis is negatively log two p value. And also we use the card of p values. For here, we use the cutoff for uh, 0 0.1. For blue, this green line, blue, this green line is p value is not in this uh, cutoff. For the up, this green, up this uh, green line, 
the p value is, is less than 0 0.1. And uh, both the negative and the right uh, log full change, so right and left and the right, so that measurement the significant difference. So the red line indicated both this bacteria is significant significant high significant difference and also we have large effect size. So this uh, figures is very you know uh, welcome very popular use in the in the publication. So I will review some uh, zero inflation model. Uh, based on my knowledge, uh, Dr. Xu's group in 2015 comprehensively evaluated the classic zero inflated model, including the zero inflated poison, zero inflated electric binomial, zero herd poison, and the zero herd electric binomial. They confirmed that zero inflated electric binomial and zero herd electric binomial are best fit Markman data, use the simulation and the really Markman data. Based on this evaluation, Dr. Wang in two, Wang's group in 2016 first applied the zero herd electric volume to analysis species bacteria. So this uh, paper is published as related genetics, the very high impact journal on that, yeah. So also based on this evaluation, I uh, write a book chapter for use all the zero inflated model in my book. I will put in some result uh, in this presentation. For I use this data set, the human data set, we just talk about that. We use, we extract the, you know, some result, use the zero inflated binomial and the zero uh, herd electron binomial. First, we explore the bacteria in the heat uh, graph. We can say that the how um, large percentage of zeros for this bacteria. Also, you know, the data set is rather secured. They are having a longer, you know, a tile in the right. We also you see, uh, can say that the data is over dispersed. The variance is very large than mean. So we apply this data, use these two models. Uh, this is uh, actually the output from the zero inflated negative binomial. The zero inflated negative binomial have two sub uh, models. One is a counter model, for here is negative binomial with log link. Another one is zero infla inflated model, this is binomial model with logic link. Uh, in this data set, we coding this predict as a group. Uh, we coding the pregnant woman versus non pregnant woman. So here we uh, can say that the pregnant woman is positively associated with the, uh, the candidate, the count. But this is uh, mean or relatively a uh, count not just the root count. They have a very significant difference. The zero model also show that the pregnant woman are more probability can be grouped in the zero inflated model. They always see a difference. In the last the slides, we use the zero herd negative binomial. The result is similar. For zero herd electric binomial, we also have two submodels. One is a counter model, but this time the model is a truncated electric binomial with a log link. The other one is a zero herd model. This is a seminal is a binomial uh, model. The we can say the coefficient is almost uh, you know similar uh, to the uh, from from the zero inflated electric binomial, they also very significant difference. Uh, the zero hood model also is significant difference. But the difference, uh, if we uh, look at the details, the size of the is difference. 
In the negative polynomial, the size is negative. But the, for this model, the herd negative polynomial, the side direction is um, positive. The reason is that uh, the zero herd negative polynomial is more than the non zeros, the property of zeros. Not uh, like the zero in flat negative polynomial, that model is more than the probability of inflected zeros. So the direction is, you know, difference, but the, 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 the effect size is, is almost the same. So this we also, we also confirm that zero inflated level polynomial and the zero herd level polynomial can give you a similar result. You have a couple of tests in my book. I use the LYC, one test, BIC, and other tests to confirm the, the result from the Dr. Hughes evaluation for these two models performance. So there are a lot of approach is different uh, for the counter modeling. We call the composition analysis approach. Actually, March uh, early in 1897, Pearson already warmed that spiritual correlation could be formed. We use the ratio of two absolute measurement to measure the organs. For example, if the we assume A and B are independent, but A ratio C and, and the B ratio C are not independent because they share or same of C as you know. So most and the important issue, the composition approach to try to stress is to overcome the spatial correlation problem. How the composition method previously was developed in the other study. There are a lot of, you know, from the Mark Brown study. For example, they de developed the, as the geometry, economic, um, and the marketing, I just name a few. The fundamentally uh, serious principles and the method were developed by Archinson in 1980s, particularly in his 1986 uh, the book. In the Magabarm research, they have two methods are specifically designed for the Magabarm data. The first one we call the LDX or LDX2. LDX2 is the second version of LDX. As the name suggests, this is model is the kind of LOA likely differentiates the pressure. The goal of this model is unify the analysis high throughput sequence data set. Of course, in, in polar data set. Another model is ANCOM. As the name suggests, is analysis composition uh, Markham Baum. They were developed to count the composition constraint because all the composition the percentage uh, of the sum of all the percentage of each of composition equals 100 or equal one. They because this is uh, they want to you know because if we if we don't address the composition uh, constraint problem, they maybe give you know increase the force discovery. The model is developed to address these issues. Before we apply the composition approach, we, my question is, why Markham dataset can be treated as composition? In our book, chapter 10, we summarize several of the reasons. But the most important reasons is Markham data structure is composition. Uh, based on the Archison's uh, book, he defined the composition data set have four features. Each of the row of data array corresponds to a replicants or a single experiment or observations unit. Each of columns corresponds to specific integrants or part of each composition. 
each your entry is non-negative. The macro data is you are low long tail in your data set. Not to, uh, they are low long tail values. The first important uh, features or compositions uh, data is some of the entries in each of row is equal to one or equally 100 percentage. So this definition is consistent with the Mark Brown data set. We just talked about that. So what to do if the data set is composition? There are most the things and essentially we use the one of the family of log ratio transformation. Based on the Archinson, he said the composition composition issue can be addressed by a log ratio transform. So there are three log ratio transformation available. For the first one is additive log ratio transformation. Uh, we can say that each X1 that indicates the, this is a bacteria, and then uh, you know ratio divided by the others uh, ratio as, as reference. For each of them, the each of uh, each of bacteria divided or uh, or common uh, uh, bacteria, and then log. So this is. So for this here, if the D is the dimension or the number of the bacteria, for after the additive log transformation, they will reduce the one or measure of that. So they have D minus one ratio for that. So this is space. It's not at the Okinator real space. They call it the simplex space. A lot of trans log ratio transformation is centralized. The centralized what? The centralized the geometry means for the each of bacteria, they divided the geometry means of the, all the bacteria in the sample. The third one is developed at 2003, use this formula, but this one is law metric transformation. We are sure uh, our example use ALDX2 uh, to apply our data set. Uh, first, we explore, uh, explore the data set, use the by plot uh, plot. Uh, we can see that for these eight samples, they are very well separated by this plot uh, with the, the red uh, red color is present the with I mean D logout sample. The blue color present the three white type sample. The two to two principal components can explain the 69% variance or samples. So we can maybe use the two group to group that uh, data set. We confirm use the screen plot, the two you know, principal components can explain the uh, more variation for the samples. But for most important, also popular uh, figures, uh, we combine the class uh, dendrogram with bar plot. For the top, we use the class uh, analysis to group this, you know, to group. And then the bottom, we use the bar plot to present uh, the how many percentage in each sample with the each of bacteria. So these uh, figures are often see in the public, uh, published paper. However, how to conduct a hypothesis to use this LDS package to get the sum you know, uh, the result? Uh, as we talk about that uh, composition study, the first and most things is use the log ratio transfer the raw data to the you know to the to the Composition uh, space, we call the symptom space. 
for here and then replace some zeros for here. So for this approach, this density, this uh, package also apply this approach. They first use the Dirich multivariate uh, program to replace or uh, uh, zeros with uh, small values. And then they use the class method to test the group difference. In here, uh, the VEEP is expected P value with well cheat T test. For the VIEP, it indicated expected a p value with a VG Cox test. There are a couple of bacteria that identify second difference at the beginning. So the second column is difference between group, and the third group is difference within group. And then these two, these difference between group divided by the difference within group get the effect size. And also, we, this, uh, we also talk about that. This is the p value. We will we'll cheat t test. This is the p value. Uh, next to the column is the p value from the will cause t test. This is or just the p value for will cheat t test. Use the French mini uh, Kochberg test. The same thing is we we'll, uh, get a p value or the just p value for your will cheat Koch test. Use the uh, Benjamin uh, Kochberg test. However, composition uh, data analysis have some fundamental li limitation. The most things the composition uh, analysis treated the really discrete content as a continuous or relative. However, content data is not purely relative. The most the challenge for used composition uh, approach because they cannot address the zero problem. For each of data sets, they try to use a composition approach. They had to replace of zeros with some uh, small zeros. Such a pro some program just uh, you know direct simply direct or zeros with one or point uh, five. Some of just use or, or program to replace the zeros with some small values. We just talk about the LDX equation package. They use a model called the Durish multivariate model to replace the zeros and then apply the standard method to analyze this kind of data. The biologically uh, composition this still have some problem because you know biologically a truly composition model data do not exist. So some research uh, done. Uh, recognize the amount of data is composition. Because the composition approach is developed by the previously at the other field, such as technology field, marketing field. At that field, the variable number is very small, but the macro data set, the bacteria is very large. We just give example, you know, the macro in our data set, they have 248 bacteria, but just the eight samples. So that means the composition issue maybe can be remedied because they have many bacteria. So this is very different. So the some of research don't use this composition approach. In the next couple of minutes, uh, we will talk about example use the permaloa for the multivariate analysis. The first that we used uh, some uh, exploratory tools to explore the data. There are a couple of methods available. The most important uh, uh, method is called the principal coordinate uh, analysis. This is we use often in the Maram center. But for the exploratory uh, purpose, we also can use a clustering method. Uh, we use this method, we can use some linkage for the linked the samples, such as we, they are singular, uh, singular average and uh, complex linkage. We also can use uh, order the class method to link the data set. 
For here, I will use the class to group the set. We can clearly see this y tab three is grouped together, and all this is the y tab. This is uh, vitamin D knockout grouped together. But uh, you know, for the hypothesis, we can use a couple of methods available. The the first is Permaloa. The also we can use the Mendel test. Also, you can use the Olson test. The so uh, for the one is called the MRPP. For this data set, I will show you use the Permaloa test because this test is most uh, used in the magma research. But first I want to uh, talk about uh, why transition MANOA is not suitable for a lot of the magma data set. Uh, we already talked about a little bit uh, when I presented the data set characters, because the tradition of magma data model assumed high very or string solution, such as nominality, linearity, and homogeneity. All these assumptions cannot meet for Markbarm data set. So we cannot use the tradition of MANOA to analyze the Markbarm data set. But we can use the per MANOA. Per MANOA is developed by, in 2001 by Edison. But this, uh, the data, you know, the model, uh, the data setting is the same as the uh, tradition of MANOA. They use the partition of sum of square. But this is a long parameter uh, test. Uh, for the multiple variable test, typically we use the distance measurement. Or we co also call the dissimilarity measurement to measure the, the distance uh, between group first. And then we can you know, apply the um, test to test that. For most of the important uh, measurement, we call the uh, Brian Cudis uh, distance test. Uh, this is a test that is proposed by Brian and Cudis in. Uh, two, I think it's a 2016-5, yeah. So this is a three um, composition from the Pamela. It's the two to the sum square and the within group square and the average sum square. And then based on this uh, square, they define the uh, pseudo F uh, test to test that. But the challenge is the multivariate or uh, body variable, uh, you know, high dimension the data cannot, you know, directly uh, get a hypothesis p values for F test. But how to do? Uh, we typically, uh, for Markman data and also other omega study, we use a permission test to get a p value. For the step is, we randomly shaft the text within the data set to generate the experience distribution. So the algorithm and uh, behind that, so and the low hypothesis, if we assume the group are not really different, then we can use, you know, we, so that means we can multiple observations in this data set is the rule, we can, you know, it's changeable among different group. So we can repeat all the possible ordering of the rules, such as uh, 100, uh, 1,000 times, and then we can get uh, 1,000 distributions to specific data set. So that we count how many reject, how many uh, not reject. So this is the p-value we can get. So this is the, the output we extract from the, from the data set, from our data set. We have a three, a two general type, white type, we uh, log out of our type, and also have two locations, vehicle and the circle. So we define the three levels of the group. With three level theory group, we have second difference for the group. This is the overall test for the group difference. They have R square is 34 percentage. So that means the 34 percentage uh, variance of uh, you know, samples can be explained by the group, group effect. So we need to, you know, but however, I don't know each level of the group is different each other. We, so we need to get a pairwise formulation test. For here, we uh, detect the uh, difference between the fake VDR lockout and the circle uh, for uh, EDR lockout. That means the location have some effect. Others have you know, either marginal uh, difference, is not a marginal difference. But this is a rule that we didn't adjust for multi uh, comparison. 
there are a couple of methods available to adjust the uh, uh, p-values. We use the FDR, so force decouple rate to adjust the p-values here. So after we adjust, there are no significant difference anymore for the fecal vitamin D lockout and the circle vitamin lockout. However, we show that, you know, performance, we can use the uh, permutation of manure to, to, uh, multi, to get the, you know, I lost the multivariate uh, Markman data set. Uh, I will end uh, my presentation here. The take home message is uh, Markman data uh, have uh, some unique features. So a lot of the modern data is very challenging. The new study methods are still at the development. So I hope you get a better understanding of modern data of this meeting. Uh, I have published uh, this book. Uh, if you want to get the more information, maybe you can reference this book. So I want to acknowledge uh, my collaborator, Dr. Jensen. Thank you so much for you, your patience. Now I can take questions. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Dr. Xia. And uh, hi, uh, audience. Now uh, we have uh, about nine minutes, 10 minutes for questions. Uh, I have a question about the, the various uh, permutation uh, methods that you mentioned, for instance, the primanova and multi-response permutation pr procedures. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a little more on the advantages of disadvantages of one versus the other, for instance? For instance, uh, yeah, primanova yes. and, and multi-response mm -hmm. permutation procedures, for instance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we just talk about that because, you know, um, Markman data set, high, high um, dimension. The high dimension, you know, we use the uh, partition of partition, uh, partition uh, sum of well to get the F test. But, uh, you know, we can directly use, you know, standard model, standard, you know, test to get the P values. The P value we had to use the combination to check or assume he, the, at the low hypothesis, there are no difference for all the group. That means for all the bacteria within the group or between the group. We shuffle for that. And then, you know, count how many just randomly uh, number, how many, you know, get the signal difference be, beyond that. So this is very challenging issue from the my uh, high dimension of data set, you know, not just a marker bound data set. So uh, I don't think this is uh, optimal approach for getting p-values, but uh, most uh, uh, marker bound study, new method developer use this method because other method is very hard to do. Uh, well, I don't understand, but why is it harder to do than MRPP? Oh, MRPP, yeah. That's how we know. There are some people use that. We uh, just this, uh, just this year, they have new kind of model called the fast uh, lake binomial mixed effect model is proposed by Dr. Dunn in the, I think it's Alabama University. Uh, this group uh, have proposed a serial account model, including the lake binomial and uh, also zero inflated lake binomial. In this year, they proposed another model you, called the fast uh, zero inflated uh, mixing model. They use the EM approach, yeah. They, uh, they compare this approach with other um, approach to get, yeah. They think this is uh, also, also, uh, you know, is optimal uh, approach to get the p-values. Yeah. But so get, getting back to my original question, is, do you see any advantage of one versus another, or Primanova uh, versus MRPP, for instance? I, I, I didn't see many uh, research to, uh, to compare this two approach, but uh, okay. this two approach is, uh, also, the both available in the new method developer in the in the Mark Brown research. Yeah. Okay.
Yeah, some of them, you know, so EM is optimal. <laughs> of course, such as, you know, we just talked about Dr. Jones and group. Uh, he developed a serial models, use this, uh, you know, uh, approach. But some, most of them still use the, the permutation test, such as uh, Dr. Chen's, Jun's, uh, Jun Chen's uh, group, also in the other group, yeah, to use that approach. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, uh, anyone else uh, have a question? Hi, Hi Dr. Yingling. <laughs> Hi, th uh, thank you for the wonderful talk. I have a question regarding the LDEX2. Mm -hmm. So suppose if I am comparing few groups, the microbiome for the mm -hmm. microbiome, and I, uh, and I think that there are some factors in the metadata which could be different among the groups like age, gender, or some treatment. So can I correct for those metadata factors and then compare the microbiome between the groups in LDEX2? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, because, so you talk about the, how to get the, the difference between group and also adjust the other covariance, right? Right. Yeah, we, we, we have, you know, uh, several models could do that. Uh, the most uh, standard model is uh, mixed effect model, but of course this model Mixed effect model, you know, is a standard model. We need to, we need to trans because this model have both have if a fixed effect uh, model and also random effect model. They have uh, equivalent with many of covariance for that. But this model is developed for the you know for classic data set, not a specially default for Markman data set. Before we use this model, we can we need to transfer the data set uh, first. But uh, currently, they have uh, several other models to develop for um, to you know, include the currents, uh, such as uh, elective biomimic beta, uh, run, uh, run effect is developed by the uh, Dr. Hong Zhe Li in 2015 or 16. Now, uh, this model is longitudinal setting they can include the uh, you know, time effect, and also other uh, effect, you know, get that. Uh, all the couple, a lot of model also can do that. We shall talk about the uh, zero infinite model model, uh, the developer, the Dr. Donald group at the University of Alabama, yeah. The, because the most of the things, the setting, the most model setting, they use the Tradition uh, uh, generalized, generalized linear mixed value model because this setting is you know flexible to include the uh, covariance. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have another question. Suppose uh, I have a longitudinal study where I have data from multiple time points, mm -hmm. and the first of them is the baseline level. So, can I get the microbiome profile? at an advanced level after correcting for the baseline microbiome for each sample? Mm -hmm. like, do, do you have a suggestion what is the best method to do that to correct a microbiome at a time point T, which is corrected at the basal microbiome level? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you may talk about the longitudinal study, right? Uh, sorry, please repeat. You talk about the longitudinal study, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. Oh, okay. Uh, there are a couple models available. Uh, actually, uh, just the developer within two, uh, two or three years. The first way we just uh, recommend to use the uh, legacy by beta uh, random effect developed by the Dr. Uh, Hong Zhe Li. Uh, this model we can use longitudinal study. We we can code in the time effect uh, for baseline for some fixed uh, time point. Uh, you know, but best nine, maybe three week, maybe six week, maybe one year, you can cut it for that. We, you know, for this model, you can directly use the time as, a, you know, weather effect in the model. Uh, also, another model we can use that, you know, um, we still, find, we, 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 we also can use that uh, for a time effect model. We, in, you, you, in, uh, you know, but uh, this, you, 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 we, we use the random, uh, you, you know, just we talk about the fast, uh, you know, uh, fast uh, mix effect like binomial, we also can use that. You, you include time effect. Yeah. Also, okay. another model is proposed uh, called the 
M N E T is long paramic multivariate model is proposed by the Huiling Li at the University of New York, I think. Yeah, uh, he proposed the model is non parameter approach. The the first things they used uh, uh, correlation study such as uh, Pearson correlation, also called the Kindle correlation. Summary that the data different time point first, and then they used the you know study to compare the the correlation. They get the this model is uh, is uh, currently the uh, in the Chim two do you Chim two right? Yeah, in the yes. Chim two yeah in the Chim two is uh, by informatics uh, played tools. It's a very popular tools. Uh, to use current now. So in this system two, this model is have a package in this model. So this model also can use that. Okay, thank you so much. Sure. Thank you. And uh, it's uh, one minute over three uh, in respect of everyone's time. Uh, I would like to thank Dr. Xiar again for his uh, talk to us today. And, uh, and thank you all for coming today. Um, thank you. Dr. Xia, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. You're yeah. welcome. And I will be in touch. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, take care.